Hey guys, this is uh, Squishy from Just About Gaming. I'm going to show you how to make a player trap um, on Minecraft. Uh, you're going to want to have uh, a load of blocks to build it, some a bucket of lava, an iron door, a lever, a pressure pad, and some redstone dust. You want to start this by building a room too high. You want to build it smaller than this as well. Uh, the smaller the better. I've just built it like this so you can uh, see what it's like from the inside without me getting burnt to death within seconds. Okay, so uh, once you once you've built the room, you want to put a roof on it. Uh, the roof's very important, obviously. It doesn't matter what you make it out of, um, but remember once you've built the room to put a hole in the top. This is where the lava is going to fall through. Now you want to build a solid tower going up. Uh, so this is where the lava is going to fall from. Uh, this isn't the best looking uh, tower, um, but I'm pretty sure if you stick it in the side of a mountain or something, you won't notice it. It's important that it's uh, quite high. Um, I I like it this tall. Personally, uh, I found out that this works best because the um, shorter it is, the quicker it kills them. Um, the longer it is, the easier it is to uh, put a zigzag in. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so yeah, you want to uh, patch that hole back up, that's very important, and then dig away exactly like that. So you have one block, one block, and then two blocks down. Um, after you've done that, you want to put the bucket of lava right in there and wait for it to stop flowing before you do anything. Okay, so the bucket of lava stopped flowing. Now you want to... Um, what I do is I get the redstone dust and place it next to the lava. This is important. You want to get the redstone dust down uh, next to your building as in the quickest way possible, basically. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to. I prefer to remove the block in the wall there so I know where to put the lever once I've uh, once I've got him uh, make sure that there's redstone dust on it okay so when you head around uh, inside the building you'll obviously know where it is patch it back up and put the lever there then you wanna, then you can remove the blocks on the top I'm gonna use jump to but you can build a tower if you don't have that command it's important that you put two blocks there, because if you put just one, um, it will probably just fall down. So yeah, from the inside, it looks like this. Uh, in a room, uh, make it, remember to make it smaller than this as well. Uh, what I found is that you can see the lava from here. So I prefer to remove these two blocks and put in the zigzag I was telling you about. Just a simple block there. So no matter from what angle you're looking, you can't see the, can't see the lava at the top. So as soon as you put the door in, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna put some torches in here as well, so it's a bit lighter. It's important that the door that you're using is iron, and that you put it in from the inside, because if you put it in from the outside, there'll be a gap where they can stand and evade the lava. Uh, okay, I had a bit of trouble getting the sign, uh, not the sign, the um, pressure pad out, because I only had one. So this goes on for a bit. <laughs> this is the last try. So yeah, I've got the I've got the pressure pad and for the door it's I prefer using a pressure pad because it's easiest personally. Um the lava's ready, redstone dust's all connected. Uh remember I made this room too big so I can stand in the corner and show you. 
So they'll come in and hit this. This will trigger up the redstone dust, which will make the lava change its flow and flow down here. Okay. So see, that's why you have the door from the inward, so you can't hide in that gap there. I'm just going to go and stand in the corner. There we go. Uh, thanks you. Thank you. This is uh, just about gaming. I'm Squishy. Uh, subscribe, like, and tell a friend. Hope this has been helpful.